Heffman. Welcome to Men on Women, the show for women who wonder what men are thinking and for men who wonder what women are wondering and what other guys do about it. This week we searched for and found three guys who are prepared to answer questions from women even though they don't know what the questions are until they hear them. You think that's going to be, <laughs> is that going to be fun or what? <laughs> yeah. On tonight's show, what you can tell about a person by the way they hug. Tonight's real guy guests are Eric Domander, who has the heart of a romantic and the body of a Viking, and Russ Weston, who lives a life of daring and excess, making him kind of a local love god. Thank welcome you. to the show, guys. <laughs> I thought you liked that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, since we're going to be talking about physical affection tonight, I've got this little uh, thing for you that I want to run you through. This is a... Uh, I want you to rate the kisses from one to ten. Okay, number one, bride kissing the groom at a wedding. Two. Uh, four. Okay. <laughs> Drunk bride kissing you at the reception. <laughs> oh, nine. Oh, no. <laughs> You've known a lot of drunk brides, I'll wager. I go with a two on that. Uh, a yeah. two, okay. People kissing in their apartment, you know, sometimes you see that. Uh, five, that can go either way. Okay. Three. Yeah, Three. not, not yeah. into the voyeur or something. Yeah. People kissing in their apartment is seen through a high powered telescope. <laughs> <laughs> this will say something about you if you can answer this question. Uh, well, Nine five. <laughs> okay. Let's light up the scale one more. Okay. How about kissing good. Swedish twins? Uh, men or women? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to go with women. Uh, it's like you know, nine-ish. I thought this was a big male fantasy, so we're not going to hit a yeah, ten. Yeah, big nine. Big, big nine. Well, maybe, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, the we'll thing is, you, you, if it's <laughs> Swedish twins, it's a setup. It's like, it's not really happening. It's, you know you're in yeah. a fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so obviously it's going to be a 10 then. It's obviously a fantasy. Obviously. How, about, how about a surprise kiss from an old aunt that goes a little longer than you expected? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean you might like that, Russ? Well, aunts that I haven't seen in a couple of years. <laughs> okay. No, like... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Mother side five, father side two. Oh, is that right? Oh, you're going to be in so much trouble for having said that. Joining us now is the most popular member of the cast of The Young and the Restless, whose portrayal of Malcolm Winters keeps the ratings higher than any other daytime drama. And now you can also find him at his own new website, www. Ready for this? Are you writing this down? Dot shamar dot com. Please welcome Shamar Moore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And we've never even met. Isn't it great? Okay, now you sit down and behave. Okay, so let, let me ask you this. You told me about physical affection. I know. So. I should never tell you ahead about anything. Okay, so here's the thing. You you actually sometimes have to kiss for a living, right? Like, that... that... Um, that's why I do it for a living. Yeah. Well, you mean that's why you do what you do for a living? Kiss for a living. Okay, okay. All the acting is just kind of secondary. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What, like, is it ever a 10? Is it ever a 10 with the kissing? Yeah. Whew. Well, I'd like to think I'm a 10, you know, uh, you know, I'm playing. No, 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 come on. Like, no. when you're, like, you have to kiss girls and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a job. I won't lie. Yeah. I, I can't complain. Yeah. Um, but there's, you know, you don't, you know, some, some actresses are married or have boyfriends and oh. that whole thing, so you have to be respectful. So my whole way of respecting it is I always, I'll go to a new actress if I haven't had any type of kissing or lovemaking to do with them, and I'll just ask them, are there any rules or regulations? Because there is such a thing as TV kissing. Mm -hmm. It's very kind of tedious to do. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, what, what, what's TV kissing? <laughs> Russ is laughing openly. Uh, it's, uh, you have to take, you take your tongue and put it at the roof of your mouth. It's, you kind of lead with it. It's a, it's a whole rhythm and a, and a delivery with your, with your mouth, so it looks 
real, so to speak, on TV, but it's not real for the... For the okay, what's the significance of putting the tongue on the roof of your mouth? I don't get that. It just so it gets it out of the way, so you don't get carried away in your little fantasy. Oh, I okay. <laughs> You know, because the one thing about soap operas is, is the camera is right up on you, so your face yeah, is right here. Tight. So everything is magnified. So right. even if you just kind of go, mm, your tongue looks like it's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, you know, and I, I, you know, you got moms out there, you got to keep mom and grandma proud. And That's they go, right. Baby, that was nasty what you was doing. You got to that girl on her face, you know. <laughs> so you ever have to have like the super glue thing just so you won't forget? Well, I've been fortunate. Every every woman, every actress that I've asked uh, how they would like to do it, they've just looked at me and said, "Let's go for it." So okay. I kind of uh, enjoy doing a real thing as as close to perfection uh, as, as possible. As close to real as we can make okay, it. Okay, baby, let's go. It's all go in the job. It. It's in the job, <laughs> and some guys are just lucky that way. Okay, so listen, um, how do you know? when you're meeting a woman, which to give her, a handshake, a kiss, or a hug? How do you figure that out? It's a subtle thing? Eye or? contact. Y yeah. I mean, I think it starts, I think you can tell in the first five seconds if there's any type of attraction of any kind. Not that you're gonna act on it, but when you meet somebody, I think you can, you can tell if, if they're receptive for a hug or a handshake. A lot of women will kind of you know, make it real clear to you, back up. <laughs> That's what that means? <laughs> and then they do and like this. You know, really? one of those. <laughs> but, uh, and then okay. sometimes you can just, you kind of get in that space, and if, if there's no objection, then you just, you give a hug. I think you do know within with the beginning part of the date how it's going to end within the first, you know, if it's a dinner and drinks. Then the first half hour, you can pretty much tell if it's going to be the handshake or the heavy grope. Oh, you're talking at the, at end, the end, end of the day? Yeah, at the end of the day. Okay. I mean, it, it, you, you just, it's the first, you know, if physical contact. I mean, if, you know, if she goes for the knee, you know, at the bar, just, you know, lightly touched, then, you, you know, it's all right. You're oh, going to be okay. Yeah. But if, there, if there's nothing, you pretty much know that it's going to end that way, you know. So if a girl touches your knee during a first date, then you're more likely to go for a bigger finale. If it's if she makes the first touch, yeah, but not if it, not if it's a pity grab. <laughs> <laughs> that's just bad. I mean, there's, there's a lot of times where where you know, you know, that's okay. What's She's a just, pity grab look uh, like? Pity grab is you know you've you said go the like, wrong oh, thing. Yeah. Like that? Well, like I, think a, it, I think it's all in the it's in the tap or no tap. There's the excuse me, man. Yeah, no, touch your knee. You How know, often is that? I don't want you to think about it. <laughs> but uh, there's the. How you doing, baby boy? I don't know what they say. Baby boy. Or there's this. Yeah, this is, that's bad. This that is even feels bad. Down tiger. Down yeah. tiger. Down tiger. Not Do you gonna that happen. With hugging yeah. too, if they're patting you, it's kind of like, mm -hmm. okay, that's enough of that yeah. kind of thing. Do you think that? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Anytime there's a tap, it, it means yeah. you, you Tapping lose. is a killer. <laughs> yeah. lose. Okay. Taxi. <laughs> really, that clear, eh? Oh, yeah. Tapping, get you're out of there. Yeah, you're out. Okay, you guys ready to answer that question from Deb or what? Yeah. Because she's been waiting on the phone. We have a caller named Deb. Deb, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, let's have it. Hi, Deb. Uh, hi, guys. How are you? Um, great. Uh, is it possible to be a bad kisser? And in your experience, is how someone kissed you ever been a deciding factor on whether you continued the relationship or not? Deb, can you kiss? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that. She said, oh, What's yeah. What's she going to say? Yeah, well, no. well, I'm no. mediocre, I think. But... <laughs> no, okay, come on. Oh, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Coming at you like a lizard that... <laughs> you, 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 really, you, you, can take off, you get taken off guard because sweet girls can just turn and the face peels back. Everything kind of goes up and it's just... That's just... No. No. You can't recover from a bad kiss. It may not ruin things, but it's always going to be the girl who looked really great and was a lot of fun, but was just a horrible kisser. Or a so, chicken peck. Chicken yeah. pecks are bad. Chicken pecks. Somebody coming in and chicken pecking you. Uh, kiss, 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 and yeah, it just doesn't work. <laughs> kissing, kissing is huge. It, it, it's a rhythm. And kissing, to me, is, is more intimate than sex itself because it's, uh, it's, it's your mouth. It's, it's, it's your highest sense, I think, and from taste to it's the deepest way to show somebody affection. And if it, it, I don't think it's so much about good or bad, because to each his own. Some people like it rough and fast, and some people like it slow and low. That is my tempo, you know? But it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if you're knocking teeth all night long or playing ping pong inside your mouth, you gotta go, you know, <laughs> you know, uh-uh. Okay, no ping pong, Deb. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your question, though. Thanks that was a, a good one.
We're gonna take a little break now and come right back. Tonight's guests, Eric Domander, Russ Weston, and Shamar Moore from The Young and the Restless. Okay, the Hugs for Health Foundation in the U.S. says that hugging can reduce cholesterol, can regulate your heartbeat, and can strengthen your immune system, and it can actually even reduce stress and blood pressure. Did you know any of this? Well, I would think it would raise your heart rate, but... Well, let's find out, okay? Because I have a little device here. Uh -oh. So I'm going to try this with you guys. Oh, it's, a, it's a biofeedback uh, thing. So it tests it. Who wants to be first? Oh. One at a time. I'll go. Please. Uh, you'll you'll yeah. go first? Okay. All right. So what you do is you strap this baby on. Come on up here. On what? <laughs> oh, really, it's safe. Look, there are two of them. If you had two, we'd all be does worried. Does it vibrate? It does not vibrate. Okay, put your hand out. Hand out. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on you, and then I'm going to hug you. And then we're going to hear from the audio feedback, which I'm hearing already. OK. Ready? You're really up there, lad. OK, wait. <laughs> you, it's really high. OK, let's see if we can drop it. OK, come here. Come here. <laughs> He's really up there. Okay. Okay. You, you I don't, want, I don't want to break it on you. Okay. I have an idea. Okay, Russ, you want to try this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. I must be. I must be a lot hotter than I even Call knew. Call me daddy. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay. I just went there for a minute. Here you go. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want me to try a slightly different hug with you? <laughs> Please. Okay. <laughs> I can try the social hug, which is what people do sometimes. Okay. And you know what they do? Like, they just hug from the upper body. Yeah. Do you like that kind of hugging? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it can't possibly hurt to try it. Okay. Okay, wait. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's okay, good. ready? Yes. Social hug. Okay, social hug. Ready? <laughs> Keep tapping. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. You know what I'm learning about you. It apparently doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, forget it. You're done. Okay, Shamar, last try. I don't one. Know. Okay. No, you don't want to try I this don't now? Know. Okay, well, I have one, one question for you. Like, you gave me a pretty darn good hug at the beginning. Do you know there's a, um, a kind of hug where a woman puts her hands. Um, under the man's arms, and then there's the kind where the woman puts her hands around the guy's neck. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's just test them both. Get your thumb out of there. because The one over the shoulder means we're, I really want you to look me in my face and make out with me. Oh, yeah? And so we don't even have to bother with doing this. Wait, do you want to make out? No. <laughs> not just now. I'm not in front of all Ouch. these people. Ouch. You're an exhibitionist. Don't lie. Okay, you so what are we going to find out here? Okay, so just, I'll just... We're going to... Hey. <laughs> okay, what are we going to... Body over here. Okay, uh -huh. so we're going to find out which we like better? No, I want to test them both for you. So first there's the, this hug, right? This... It goes up. They all go up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's try the other one, okay? Now, what is this... This is different. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, it was starting to come down well, again, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that up. Up is good. But up when is, the little you know, noise goes up, it means that you're getting more stressed getting, out, right? Oh, really? I thought so it was excited. I think it's me. It must be oh, me. Stressed up. Yeah. Oh. No, not excited. It was. Uh, it was your. I was excited. I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Even with the social hug. Yeah. Okay, listen. We have a, a, a person in our audience who has a question for you. Okay. Her name is Yasmin. Would you like to go ahead, or would you like to come up here and try that? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long show. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Do you guys? Um, do any of you guys believe that when men and women can be platonic friends without um, any kind of sexual tension? And I'm tossing that to my boys. Honestly, I really don't. 
at some point yeah. there's going to be because even even with like even if you do you start out as as good friends and you become great friends I mean, you're attracted to that person. You, you, everything else about them, I mean, or we wouldn't be friends. And I, you just, I think it's just a natural progression in any sort of man-woman friendship that you're going to. And there has to be the physical, uh, you know, if there's absolutely no physical chemistry, perhaps. But generally, I, I would agree that uh, there's uh, personalities are intermingled and, and you're getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, there's generally some tension. <laughs> um, I think that uh, there's always sexual tension. Um, I think, like we were saying, that in the first five minutes of meeting someone, you know if you're attracted to this person, you know if you, you like them, if you get a good vibe from them, and then judge for yourself whether or not that's something you want to... So sexuality is always a factor. Yeah. It might be buried, but it's going to be there. You just decide to ignore it or not. Mm -hmm. It's a chemical impulse. Chemical impulse. Thank you for your Maybe question, Yasmin. That was yeah. really good. I just like the closeness involved in cuddling, and it does not always have to lead to sex. As a matter of fact, if it always led to sex, sometimes you might not find that the cuddling would occur so often, because if you're not in the mood, if you're tired, you'll think, oh, a cuddle. You know, we can't cuddle right now because I'm too tired if it goes any further than that. I think girls, like to snuggle a little bit more than guys, but don't, a guy will tell you no, you know, and say that he does, oh, I'm not like that, or anything, because it's a machoism kind of thing. But most guys like the, you know, the, just the closeness, I don't know, you know, it's one of those things you just, I don't know if you get it, because, you know, when you're a kid, you were suck, and your mother would hold you, and you, you like that, and then, you know, now that you have your girlfriend or your wife, you know, then it gives you, like, a safe place. If you don't love cuddling, there's, you know, something wrong with you, I think. I mean, really, I mean, if you don't like, you know, just that warmth, that, that feeling of, you know, being with somebody, then you've got problems, you know. There's, there's, something, there's something a little deeper there that you need to address, I think. Not that you need to be cuddling every, every day necessarily or every hour. And yeah, I like it when it leads to the next step, but I don't go into it expecting the next step. It's just, you know, cuddles what it is. Do you guys like cuddling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I... I yeah, there's a difference though between cuddling and clingy. Cuddling's fine. I mean, I, I love to cuddle, but then there's there's clingy where it's like a monkey. <laughs> that that's bad. The it, woman acts like a monkey. Yeah, where it's just all the time. Yeah. You know, like in the kitchen, and then from the kitchen to the living room, and then from the living room to the elevator, and then out. It's just uh -huh. a little too much at okay. times. But nothing wrong with cuddling. What do you Cuddling's do when great. a woman is too clingy like that? You, know, you, you don't want to push them back over that line of where mm -hmm. you've already gone to that part of great, amazing physical contact, and you can't step back. I mean, it's just, it is, and, it, and it's there, and just, you know, live with it. And if they're not aware of the fact that you're sort of not reciprocating 100%, then I think, you know, if they're not picking up that message, yeah. then there's a problem, exactly. a communication yeah. problem. Yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. I think cuddling, to me, says a lot about the relationship. I think men... Uh, sometimes fall victim to cuddling before sex because they want sex if it's a shallow relationship. Uh -huh. But, and I know, that when, I know that I have female friends that pay a lot of attention to if you're willing to cuddle after sex because that says that you are appreciating not just the sex, but you're appreciating the person, you're appreciating her. Um, Is that you, hard work, cuddling after sex? Because you're usually sleepy, right? Do you have to kind of work at it? Well, you put, you put one, one arm around her, yeah. tilt your head to the left, and... <laughs> <laughs> so she still believes you're cuddling. Oh, baby! Uh, you got this all worked out! I'm gonna get out. in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble. We're gonna take a break and make him into more trouble than before. We'll be right back. Russ 
Weston, Eric Domander, and Shamar Moore from The Young and the Restless. Now, while you're tuning into our website, you might also want to drop in at Shamar's website at mm -hmm. www.shamar.com. Yeah, it's real of, simple. Real yeah? simple. www.shamar.com. And uh, just spell my name right. But uh, no, it's a lot of fun. And I, I, it just went up. It's only been up about two weeks. Oh, and, wow, uh, it's new. It's very brand new, but it's a. Uh, you'll get a kick out of it. It's not just about come look at me. It's actually very interactive. I have videos on there. Okay. Um, the whole thing. So check okay. it out. www.shamar.com. And that's Shamar, S-H-E-M-A-R. That's right. All right, then. So uh, here's a question for you. It's uh, part of the show called Stump the Guy, where I ask a question that, that should give you some pause. All right? So here's the thing. We've talked a lot about hugging. What about slow dancing? Slow dancing is kind of like a prolonged hug, right? It goes on for a while. Mm -hmm. Do guys ever find themselves overstimulated <laughs> by that? Yeah. 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 So, no, slow dancing is the sex you might not have at yeah. the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> slow dancing is your quick little cheap feels, yeah. your, your, uh, your little extra squeezes. Uh, you can feel her heart beating. Um, <laughs> if she can breathe, if you know what I mean, you get to enjoy that for three minutes, and it's yeah. allowed. <laughs> you don't get yeah. slapped. Mm -hmm. um, and you learn it early. I mean, that's that's your first that's six grade, contact. Right? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, and, and but the thing is, even now uh, with with everything else, that's like still slow dancing. Now is. Is great if you get the legs right, if the arms are right. I mean, but it, it's really intimate. It is I mean, really don't intimate. You, yeah, isn't that even dancing with strangers, though. I mean, you're at somebody's wedding, and and that you just grab, you know, anybody's mom, and yeah. it's still kind of because yeah. we, we don't. <laughs> it one, is. You grab moms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love, I love, you love you a mom. I love exactly. a mom and an old aunt. <laughs> Side of the family, side. Right? Exactly. So watch out, ladies. I'd like to thank these uh, great guys for being on our panel tonight. We're out of time, but you guys have been fantastic. And uh, their names again are Eric Domander on my right, Russ Weston, and from the Young and the Restless, Shamar Moore. I'm Mag Ruffman. Thanks for watching Men on Women.